As the U.S. prepares to leave, whether tonight or tomorrow, there are going to be billions of dollars worth of U.S. made munitions, arms, military, aircraft, um, armored vehicles that have fallen into the hands of the Taliban here, giving them new capabilities they didn't have before this. Are Americans less safe now because the Taliban now has access to billions of dollars worth of American-made weaponry? Well, let me unpack your question a little bit, because uh, the U.S. military, part of their retrograde effort is to uh, reduce the amount of military equipment or apparatus that uh, anyone on the ground has access to. I'm not going to get into the details of how they do that, but that is part of their effort. I will also uh, reiterate something that our national security advisor said just last week. We had to make an assessment several weeks ago about whether we provide materials to the Afghan national security forces so that they could fight the fight. Obviously, they decided not to fight uh, or not, and we made the decision to provide them with that equipment and the material. The third piece I would note that's very important here is that we have not assessed that any group on the ground, uh, whether it's ISIS-K or the Taliban, has the ability to attack the United States. Whoa. We clearly need to, sorry, that was an aggressive bug. Um, we need to uh, ensure that remains the case, but that is not a capability that we have assessed to be uh, the case at this point in time. There's a difference between the threat that is posed to U.S. men and women serving or people who are gathering outside of the gates in Kabul and whether these individuals can attack the United States. So I guess, but in simple questions, acknowledging that you're going to try to limit what access they do have to some of the weaponry in ways that you can't communicate here. But at the end of the day, whether it's not the United States that's under risk as a function of this, are Americans around the globe? I mean, are Western interests now more at risk because the Taliban has new access to all this weaponry? Well, again, Peter, I would say that uh, we, uh, the world will be watching. We have an enormous amount of leverage, including access to the global marketplace, which is not a small piece of leverage to the Taliban, who are now overseeing large swaths of Afghanistan. Uh, certainly, our objective was not to leave them with any equipment, but that is not uh, always an option when you are looking to retrograde and move out of a war zone. Uh, but that is our clear leverage we have with the Taliban. And again, our capacities uh, are over the horizon capacities, which, by the way, killed two ISIS terrorists just last week and continue to be utilized by our men and women on the ground, uh, remain in place and remain in place in the region. There are other parts of the world, Somalia, Libya, Yemen, where we don't have a presence on the ground and we still prevent terrorist attacks or threats to U.S. citizens living in the United States or around the world from, uh, from growing.